welcome back we are going to solve exercise 6.4 but as i told you before i'm not going to solve each and every example of this exercise also this is very very simple you are going to solve the examples here on the board if those are tricky special type or different type okay if direct substitution of formula are there i'm not going to solve that the first example is the dimension of the cuboid in centimeter are 16 into 14 into 20 find its total surface area very simple you know the formula for total surface area and cuboid just multiply and you'll get the answer second is the side of a cube is 60 centimeter now they ask for cube side is 60 centimeter all sides are equal find the total surface area of the cube very simple again you know the formula third one the perimeter of one face of a cube is 24 centimeter now it is tricky one this is cube what do you say the perimeter of one face of the cube is 24 centimeter perimeter means if if you hide all the sides if you take only front square the perimeter the addition of all the sides is 24 you divide by 4 so each side will be 6 find the total surface area of the six faces and volume of the cube now once you find out what is the length of this length of the cube then it is very easy to find a total surface area and volume the only hitch is finding out the length they are given the perimeter of the one face all sides are equal so you have if this is l 4l is equal to 24 so l is equal to 6 the cuboidal water tank has length 2 meters breadth 1.6 and height 1.8 meters find the capacity of the tank in liters now let us first find out the volume if you know the length breadth and height it is given to 1.6 and 1.8 to 1.6 and 1.8 meters first calculate the volume please pause your video here and calculate the volume do it now your answer is 5.76 meter cube but they have asked in liters okay what formula you have 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters and so you have 5.76 meter cubes so 5.76 meter cubes is equal to 5.76 into 1000 liters that is nothing but capacities 5760 liters very simple the only hitch was this when such formulas will come into our examples just write down those formulas separately now just write down 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters so that in the further exam examples you will able to solve those examples whenever some different formula comes in our examples just write those formulas separately so you will remember those formulas and you will be able to use those formulas in further examples let us go ahead next example is example number five the volume of a cube is 1000 centimeter cube find its total surface area very simple from the volume of the cube you will be able to find the length of the any one side and then you have the formula for the total surface area let us solve the sixth example it is a interesting one a fish tank now all of you must have seen the fish tank fish tank is not covered on the top it is a cuboidal uh, shape but it is not covered on the top okay a fish tank is in the form of cuboid whose external measures of 
are 80 centimeters by 40 and 30. So, let us draw the fish tank here. This is the fish tank. Okay. Suppose this is the fish tank, they are given measurement as 80 into 40, 80 into 40 or they are given as 80 into 40 into 30, okay, cuboidal fish tank. Now what they ask, the base down part, side faces, all the vertical faces and back face, two side faces and back face. Now if the fish tank is there, this must be clear, the front face must be clear. So base, side and back are to be covered with a colored paper, find the area of paper needed. Base, side and back, they are to be covered with the colored paper. You have to find out the area of the paper required. How you will do that? Very, very simple. Two side faces, one bottom face and one back. So just calculate this. What is the area required? Area required is first of all the side that is 40 into 30 and two faces. So 2 into 40 into 30. This is the first then we have to calculate back. What is the back? 80 into 40. 80 into 40. And plus we have to cover the base. The base is 80 into 30. Simple. Pause the video and calculate this. The answer is 8000 centimeter square. This much paper will require to cover this faces. Let us go to the next example. Find the total cost of whitewashing the four walls of the cuboidal room at the rate of rupees 15 per meter square. The internal measurement of the cuboidal room are length 10. A cuboidal room is there. Length 10 meters breadth 4 meters and height 4 meters. Breadth 4 meters and height 4 meters. Okay, 10 by 4 by 4. Now you have to whitewash 4 walls. These 4 walls, that means what you have to find out? You have to find out the vertical surface area. 2 vertical faces front and back that is 10 into 4 plus that is 2 into 10 into 4 because two faces are there and two side that is 4 into 4 into 2. Join this or add them and you will get the surface area to be whitewashed. When you multiply by rate you will get the cost. Pause the video and first find out the area required. Just do it now. Area is 112 meter square. The rate they are given 15 rupees per meter square. So the cost will be equal to 112 into 15. That is, calculate this, pause your video. That is rupees 1680. In exam you can write rupees like this also or then you can write let us symbol, doesn't matter. Very simple symbol, just draw Devanagari R and one stroke, horizontal stroke, okay. So this is your answer. Let us see example number 8 in uh, 6.4, they are shown one figure, there is one cube.
okay the figure they are given like this they are cut this in between find the ratio of the total surface area of the given cube and that of of cuboid that means this solid cube is cut into two cuboids and they want the ratio of the total surface area of given cube and that of cuboid and total surface area of cuboid so it is very easy here this is l l but here this is l by 2 and l by 2 because they are cut into half now you have to find out the first you have to find out the total surface area of cube and then total total surface area total cube and total surface area of cuboid now total surface area of cube is 6 l square and what is the total surface area of cuboid what is the formula for that now in this case length is l breadth is l by 2 and height is l so substitute these three in terms of or in formula of cuboid and you will get the total surface area of cuboid just do that this is twice lb plus bh plus lh so this will be equal to 2 into l into b lb that is l square by 2 plus b into h that is again l square by 2 plus h into l that is l square so now we have 2 l square by 2 plus l square by 2 is l square by 2 and plus l square by 2 that is 2 l square so we have 4 l square so what is the ratio of these two now the ratio is 6 l square is to 4 l square that is 6 is to 4 that is nothing but 3 is to 2 so this is how you are going to solve such kind of examples it is very easy just you have to find out the both the surface areas in terms of the length breadth and height and then you have to find a ratio now let us see the last example example number 9 of 6.4 a beam you know what beam is okay it's a cuboid 4 meter long 50 centimeter wide and 20 centimeter deep now remember they are given in the different units the length is given in the meters width is given in the centimeters and height or the depth is given in the centimeters is made of wood which weighs 25 kg per meter cube find the weight of the beam how you will find out very simple you have to find a volume of that beam first but while drawing the volume remember that it is dimensions are given in different units that means they are given 4 meter 50 centimeter and 20 centimeter 50 centimeter and 20 centimeter so first of all you have to bring these into meters so it is what is the volume 4 into 0.2 into 0.5 those are the meters okay quickly solve this find the volume the answer is 0 0.4 meter cube now it is very simple they say that uh, 25 kg per meter cube so 25 kg per meter cube so what will be the weight 0 0.4 into 25 kg that it will be 10 kg very simple so here we finish exercise 6.4 you saw all the examples were very simple some examples were in the different wordings some examples were tricky now in the last example they changed the units that means the units were not same if you don't read it carefully you may take 
you may make a mistake of multiplying by 4 into 20 into 50 and your final answer will be wrong correct so always take care of units see what units they are given correct otherwise all formulas you know these are very simple examples mind well such very simple example may not come into your exams but there will be the combination of the solids first of all we are going to see all the solids the formulas related to all the solids and then we will come to the combination of the solids so here we finish exercise 6.4 let us go ahead thank you very much